What's up everyone? Welcome back to Here's the Thing. Here's the thing. Life is already so very hard and the current state of the world isn't making it any easier. And that's really what I want to talk about today. There is so much going on in the world. So much to be afraid of, so much to consider and think about, so much that we're being invited to think about. The election, COVID, and everything that comes with that. Being on the right or the wrong side of history when it comes to dealing with the issues of racism and just social injustice in our society. Everything. Christians, the church being persecuted, Catholic statues being desecrated and spray painted on and decapitated. It's a hard time and it's been a hard year. Not to mention everything that each of us face on a daily basis that doesn't make headlining news. I think it's safe to say that living out our faith right now is not the easiest thing to do. And I wanted to talk about that because I wanted to affirm you and me that it's okay for prayer to be running low. It's okay if we feel like hope is running out. It is okay if we no longer feel a presence, his presence. I don't say that implying that nothing needs to change. I'm saying that it's something that we're probably all going through together and that there is a remedy for it. There is a solution. There is a perspective that we need to obtain to keep going. And as cheesy as it might be, and it's the only thing that I keep coming back to when I think of a remedy for all of this, when I think of a solution to each of the problems that we face, and that's love. It's love. I keep thinking about what two people do when they're in love. They make it happen. Right? They sort out their differences, they figure it out. They don't really see any other option but to figure it out. And our faith is no different because it's founded on the same thing, love. And despite everything going on, that does not change who he is and what he desires for us, what he, has, what he calls us into. He formed us out of love in his image and likeness. And because of that, he calls us back into it. And so the remedy, I think, to everything going on, where we can place our trust or where we can find it again, rediscover it, is in love, is in Him, is it being in relationship with Him, and it's a choice. And our relationship with God is no different in these times. In fact, this, I mean, all of this is forcing us to confront this reality. He does not change, we do. And the circumstances of our world and our life are going to move us in different ways and we're going to feel like we're not grounded we're going to feel uneasy we're going to feel uncertain we're going to face fear we're going to lack in trust but we need to go back to love so let the holy spirit come and move us to be in love to fall into trust to surrender our lives even when nothing makes any sense to him because he'll make sense of it right let's fall in love and Let's let that decide the rest. I hope you all are doing well. I hope your summer is wrapping up nicely. And I hope that there is so much in your life to look forward to because there is and the Lord loves you and wants to spend your life loving you. And hopefully we can do that in return. Um, praying for you all. Please keep praying. Say a prayer for me. Pray for our world. Pray for your own lives. And I will see you all very soon. The Lord is good. That does not change, despite the circumstances in our lives or in this world that do. Okay, have a great rest of your week. I'm gonna go now, get a snack. See you later.